Now we're gonna talk about looping within a Angular JavaScript file. So we've already done looping within an Angular HTML file. Now we wanna do it within side of our JavaScript file, which makes a lot more sense because of these blog items. So we actually want our title and description and all that stuff to be correct if we actually have the correct parameter. So if the ID is one of these items, we should show that detail. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're actually gonna iterate through all this stuff and it's really sim similar or really simple. We just do angular dot for each and then what we wanna iterate through and that's gonna be blog items. And then we just do this function and we say item or we could just say blog item and we are gonna iterate through and this function is actually gonna handle it. So if we do console.log and we do blog, we will see each one of these items in of itself by itself on every item. So we log into blog two, notice that we get every item that is possible inside of that array. It actually is showing up. So that means that we can put a conditional in here and handle some more stuff related to this. So we could just say if item dot, or excuse me, if blog dot ID, so that is this blog ID is equal to the route params dot ID then we'll just say this, or excuse me, scope dot blog or blog item or post is equal to the blog or the item that's being passed through here. So I'm just gonna call this post as well and we'll come back and just do post. All right, so if it's equal to that, then it's gonna be called post. And then after this for loop, I wanna actually run something. So the first thing I'm gonna do is scope dot not found equals to true. So this right off the bat, we're saying it's not found. It's gonna loop through everything. And then we'll say if scope dot not found, then we're gonna change our location. So change location. But for now, I'm just gonna console log not found. And so if it is found, then we wanna put this one more thing in this condition and that is scope dot not found equaling to false. Okay, so because this assumes that it was found and now we can set our post equal to that. So I refresh in here and of course it's found. If I change it, um, we're gonna get not found in here because blog 12 doesn't actually exist. Blog ID of 12 just isn't there. Um, or at least it's not in this array right here. So with this scope of post, if we go back to one that does exist, we can now change our post detail a little bit here. And now we'll just say post.title and then p tag post.description. Close that p tag. And then, you know, we could do all those conditions that we talked about before, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just say publish date and close off that p tag. Let's make sure that this is the format that it's in. And it's not. All right, so there's that. Refresh and now we've got some title, publish date, and I can change it. And now my URLs are actually working. So let's go back and to my list. Let's make sure I refresh when I need to. Click on the title, click on all these things. It's now actually routed correctly. We see all this stuff being console logged. We actually don't need that anymore. So going back into our component, we can take out the console logs. And that's almost it, but we want that change location thing there. So that's really easy. We just add in the location. This right here, this service right here allows us to handle our location wherever we need it. So I can do location.path and I can set it to 404. So this is actually gonna change it for us. So I'm gonna refresh in here. I'm gonna click on a blog. Notice that it's working fine. If I do a blog post that doesn't exist, it goes to the 404 URL, which is really, really cool. Very easy, very straightforward. Um, something that you might want to do, maybe not. Maybe you want to do something differently. Perhaps maybe you want to change the template URL, but that's not something we're going to do right now. Instead, we're just going to have this location.path 404 page not found. So it actually redirects us to that page not found page, or we could actually just redirect it to the blog post. You know, so if, it, if the lists are not there, it will just go back to the list of blogs. That's it. All right, so if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.